This is a LEGO Minecraft set, and there's been over 75 different LEGO Minecraft collabs dating back to 2012. And today, I'm going to be attempting to rebuild LEGO Minecraft sets in Minecraft to see if they're accurate or illegal. It's hard to deny the similarities between LEGO and Minecraft. LEGO allows you to build whatever you can imagine with a bunch of plastic bricks, and Minecraft is essentially the digital version of LEGO, allowing unlimited building potential. But if you start to look closer, you begin to discover a darker secret. Let's take for example the wolf farm set. It features a quaint wolf farm with a small river running through the middle, and is topped off with a red sheep wool statue. Nothing too out of the ordinary, right? Now in order to build the set in Minecraft, we need something for scale. And what better to do that than the crafting table? arguably the most important piece in Minecraft. With the crafting table used to scale, we can determine the build by counting the blocks accordingly, which ends up being 12 blocks long by nine blocks wide by nine blocks tall. With some careful work and attention to detail, I was able to pretty accurately recreate the Lego set in Minecraft. And outside of one small inaccuracy being that there's no tan wool, which was solved with a simple stripping of some bark, it honestly looks pretty good hey, and more or less a one-to-one -one replica. So then are LEGO Minecraft sets actually legal? Wait, 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 hold on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, because we need to talk about the pig house set. As you may or may not have guessed, it's a giant house in the shape of a pig. Are you following me? The pig house features a giant pink pig with stairs leading up to a door that takes you into the home's interior. A small pig farm sits underneath the build, a tame waterfall flows from the pig's head, and a creeper stands ready to ruin Alex's day. Now here's where things get tricky because the proportions on this set will make your head spin. To start with, the door is 4x2, but doors are 2x1 in Minecraft. Then you have the gate that holds in the pigs, and it seems relatively normal, right? Except that'd be wrong because a gate is only one block wide in Minecraft, but here it's somehow two blocks. And then you've got the bed that's one block too long, and to top it all off, the face is impossible to construct because we are constrained to blocks in Minecraft. And trying to account for all these inaccuracies is nearly impossible. Even sticking with a crafting table scale doesn't bode well. And we're left with something looking like this. Oh brother, this guy stinks! And due to inconsistencies in scale, and the fact that Minecraft lacks these sort of vertical half blocks and other features seen in the build, this set is entirely illegal. But what about the other Minecraft sets? Maybe this one was just the bad apple of the bunch. Well then let's take a look at the Fox Lodge set. It seems relatively straightforward, and there really aren't any intricate details that are impossible to replicate in Minecraft. It features, as you guessed it, a home in the shape of a buildable fox. The home hugs a small water source and is nestled in a cozy snowy taiga biome, accompanying the Lego minifigure with a skin that absolutely no one would ever use in Minecraft are three foxes with one being a white fox found only in a snowy taiga biome. The build itself was easy enough to create in Minecraft, outside of a few minor details. Take this fish for example that's nowhere to be found in game, and the closest fish in Minecraft would be this tropical fish, but these are only found in warm water, which is clearly not the case in this set. And then there's this diamond sword somehow shoved in what I assume is a barrel, and then there was this one area on the left side that was a little more challenging to get completely huh? accurate. Oh, and one last thing, how is this map placed? Because item frames in LEGO are this size, but maps do take up a full item frame when placed. So I guess it sort of works out in the end. You win this round, Lego. Then you've got the Mushroom House set. It's quite literal in the sense that it's a home inside of a mushroom near a small water source. And this one arguably looks pretty easy to build in Minecraft as well. There's really nothing glaring in terms of the build that would be difficult to duplicate. It's mainly just a few minor inaccuracies in the set. Like this chest, for example, that looks nothing like a chest in Minecraft. Then this weirdly wide ladder taking you inside this tiny fungal home, and, of course, an elongated bed that's a staple in nearly every Minecraft set. I'm very curious though, how did Alex get this mushroom here? Because they only spawn in mushroom field biomes, which is one of the rarest biomes to find in the game. So she either got the luckiest spawn ever, or she dragged the cow in a boat against its will to her mushroom home, which is the more likely scenario. So then what's all the fuss about? The sets seem more or less legal, outside of a few items out of scale, and of course the pig house set. 
but there's one other set we need to look at, the Sky Tower. This set is more illegal than placing Lego plates in between studs. It's a build of a home floating in the sky with a blacksmith's house, a soaring tower, and a garden island. At least according to the Lego website. It's difficult to decide where to even begin with this set, so let's take the roof for example. How would you possibly even begin to build this in Minecraft? There is no way to achieve that level of detail in Minecraft even while utilizing stairs and slabs. Then we have these black pillar pieces found all around the blacksmith's house and tower. But where are these found in game? Because I sure can't find them. The closest thing would be these deep slate tile walls, but that's still not very accurate. And then there's the iron door, which is once again, way too big compared to the door in Minecraft. Now let's take a moment to look at this side build that comes with the set. First off, I'm not even really sure what this is supposed to be. And secondly, how would you build this in game? Hint, hint, it's way too detailed to construct and would be impossible to do so. Really, about the only thing this set got right are the presence of the phantoms due to the lack of a bed in the house. Also, side note, I'm just imagining this is how the cat was sent to the Sky Tower. Bye, have a great time! Outside of that, this might be the most illegal LEGO Minecraft set ever. Then the question becomes, how do you fix these Minecraft sets? Besides the beds and doors being the wrong size, and chests looking completely off, the sets themselves all suffer from the same underlying issue, which is that blocks in Minecraft are square, and Lego bricks are not. But, with the simple steps of adding a tile underneath the brick, and one on top, we've made our Lego brick legal for Minecraft. And honestly, even without the Lego sets falling the correct scale as Minecraft, and more or less being illegal, the silver lining in all of it is that LEGO has released some really awesome Minecraft sets. Except for this one.